बिस्मिल रन रहीम हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द पी एल थ्री हंड्रेड एग्जाम प्रपरेशन सीरीज वेयर वी आर लुकिंग एट द थर्ड लर्निंग पैथ विजुलाइज एंड एनालाइज द डेटा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू टू एक्सप्लोर द टॉपिक फॉर्मेट एंड कन्फिगर विजुलाइजेशन सो द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ विजुअल्स आर द विजुअल विच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द विजुलाइजेशन एंड दीज आर द मैप विजुअल सो वी नो दैट एनी जोग्राफिकल डेटा can only be shown in a map visual and map visuals do not show anything else so there are five different kinds of map visuals available in the power bi as part of the native visuals so let's uh, start looking at each of these visuals so if you remember from one of the earlier videos that we discussed this very briefly that there are two types of maps inside of power bi one is called as the point or a bubble map and the other is called as an area map so the first visual visual that we are having a look at is the is the map this is just called the map visual but it is also known as a point map or a bubble map so these are the fields that are there inside the map visual and you can see that these fields are very different from the fields that we have seen in uh, some of the earlier visualizations and most of these by the, by just looking at the name they are uh related to the geographical coordinates or the geographical location so now let me just go into the into the data and bring a, a few fields and let's see what do we get on the map so if you remember from one of the earlier videos that we actually went and explored how we can label the geographical fields in our data set so remember we had this customers table and we had a few columns like customer city customer country customer postal code customer state so these are available here and i showed you that how we can actually go and tell power bi that okay this customer city is a geographical um a column and what uh, and within uh, within that it belongs to a city so we have already seen this and let me just uh, show you again that if you just click on this uh, particular column then you have the option here inside that in uh, on the on the top inside that the report view that this is the field which says data category and we selected this as a city so now what i am trying to do is that i am trying to visualize what all cities are there in my in my data set so i'm just dragging this and putting it on the location field here so it is going to take a few seconds and it is going to come up with a map that you see here on the screen and you see that for all the cities in our data set there uh, each of these cities uh, is represented by a dot or by a bubble on the map so this is a dub a, bu a bubble or a point map and what we see here are are just bubbles which are which are lying here so either you can put something in the location field here or if you have the coordinates available the latitude and longitudes available for any of the data points then you can put these latitudes and longitudes and the map will have these bubbles drawn on the exact latitudes and longitude so either you can do it this way or you can do it this way we do not have the latitude and longitudes in our data set so we are just going to focus on the location field one thing that you must have seen here right now is that it's it is uh plotting these points on countries which are not present in our data set so the data set that we are using in almost all the videos has the data for only three countries which are mexico canada and the united states of america so why there is a point in central um, uh, in south america or in europe that is because of exactly the same thing that there could be names in the uh, of cities in the world which which are common so you could have a city that uh, you could have a name of a city which is uh, also part of a uh, part of another country so what you can actually do here is that you can uh, just in order to get rid of this uh, confusion you can use the country column so remember we have a customer country column here so i am going to go into the data category and tell power bi that okay this is the data for my country so there is a county field as well so do not mix this with the with the county so there is a country country field here so what this country field uh, is now going to do is that now 
we are going to use this country field and then the power bi map would know that okay these are the only countries where i need to focus so what you need to do is that you need to bring in this country field and and put it on top of the country city so as soon as you see this green area it means that now you can pull it here and again this is going to create this hierarchy so we have been talking about this hierarchy i am just uh, going to give you a brief overview here because we have a separate topic for this so what this actually means is that we can actually now navigate this hierarchy so we have the country on the top and city on the bottom so in order to activate this hierarchy i need to come here and click on this drill mode and then i can go and click either of these two buttons so i am going to just click on this one and now you are going to see that the bubbles are now only in the three countries so this is canada this is us and this is mexico and now the areas which were uh, being shown from europe and south america these are no longer there so this is all about the 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 location that we actually see for the map visual but but just putting a location on a map just does not communicate anything unless you have some kind of a measure associated with it so you have now two areas where you can put your measure so the first area on the map and i am going to use the same uh, measure that i have been using which is my total cost is this bubble size so let me just pull this total cost here in the bubble size and now you can see that the size of the bubble is actually showing the value of the cost so if the size of the bubble is more it means the value of the cost is more so this is one way of showing the any measure that you can pull it and throw it in the bubble size uh, field in the in, in this part of the visual the other area which can be used to actually represent information is inside the bubbles area of the formatting area so in the format area you can see that there are a few fields which we which are just specific to the map visual so let's explore these so first i am going to go in the bubbles so here you can give a auto or a fixed value for the for the size of the bubble and you can also provide a range scaling so here the, it is set to auto but you can set it to magnitude or the range of the data so it is totally up to you so let me just go and select the magnitude then you can see that i can you you can actually see that the some of the values are actually changed or also if i just specify the data range then also you can see an impact and i can see the that i can just go and increase the relative size of these bubbles so but the preferred option is that you keep it on the on on the auto value then the other part is that here you have the color field so we haven't really gone on and looked at the conditional formatting because we are going to have a look at it on the conditional formatting area but just to emphasize the point that you can use conditional formatting to actually specify the values of color so through the color we can also specify what we want to see as the measure in our map visual so just keep this thing in mind then if i go to the map settings i can actually see a lot of styles here that can be selected for the map so there are like different uh, map styles that you can see so this is one style then this light one is is a is a different one so you have a few options here which you can which you can uh, use then there are certain map controls whether you want zoom whether you want some kind of a selection so these controls are very very simple but you can just come here and and select some of these controls and the last thing that is there is the heat map option so if i just turn this into a heat map and you can see that now the bubbles have gone and now a heat map where the colors of the heat map are actually showing what is the value so you can see that the the areas where the color is dark are actually the areas where we there where the cost value is higher and the areas where the the color is a bit dim are the values where are the areas where the uh, where the values are a bit lower so you can also go and you can also have uh, you can also do the setting of this heat map option here uh, which is which is different from the bubbles option so this was all about 
the standard bubble visual so there is another point map visual inside the inside the map visuals and i'm going to now use that and this is the azure map so i'm going to just select the azure map here instead of the other map and it says that you have to just sign in to show this so just remember that in order to display this azure map you have to go and just use the credentials that are available to you and sign in into the power power bi service environment because there is a requirement that you need to be signed in so now i'm going to just use my credentials and sign in and see what actually happens so now i actually signed into my account using the credentials and now you are going to see on the canvas that this is the azure map and you can see that the that there is a slight difference uh, in the in the layout of the map so it is a bit different than the standard map and you can see that the heat map option is being shown here so if i just come here and turn off this heat map option then you are going to see the standard uh, the standard bubble map or the bubble uh, bubble layer so you need to just turn it on so here you now just need to turn the bubble layer on and you just need to turn off the heat map setting so now you see that there are some other options which are available so now let's have a look at these options so the first option is the map setting so here you can come and you can again change the the the, the style of the map so here you have more options so let's see the satellite option so here you have more options than these were in the in the standard map then this is the night mode then you also have some of the other uh, options where you have high contrast so so just play around with these options and you are going to find that there are some uh, other interesting options which are which are there then there is this view option where you can actually uh, set the zoom if you do not want to keep a, a auto zoom then you can go and have a more um controlled view of the zoom so this is also self explanatory and then there are controls related to the navigation then uh, obviously the selection and some of these options so these are all related to how you what what kind of things that you can do on the map and what is the what are certain settings that you want to keep for the for the map then there is another important thing here and these are the layer settings so there are layers that you can actually put on the on the azure map and some of these layers are, are are just given down so these are these are some of the options which are related to the layer setting but just let's go and see what are these layers so these are the layers that you actually see on the on the very bottom and so you can actually have a reference layer that you can import in the form of a geo json file so if you have a geo json file and you want that to you know uh, add that uh, want that to be added as a layer on the map then you can bring in that reference layer then there is this traffic layer so let me just turn it on uh, i am not sure if this is available for all the areas of the world but maybe it is available for for this particular area uh, it would uh, it would be known in a few seconds so here you can see on the map that this traffic sign is now available here so that actually indicates that there is uh, this layer has been enabled but actually it is not showing any results or maybe if i just zoom in then there could be a certain results that could be seen but but you can go and play around with with some of this because the, the these are options that are you know sometimes these options are available for certain areas so so you see if i zoom into the map then there is some kind of information that is being shown here so these are some of the layers uh, that you should know and you just play around so in, similarly you can also have some kind of a url which points to an actual um, actual tile layer so you can also add this so the point is that the azure map offers much more flexibility than the than the standard point map so these are the two point maps or the bubble maps which are available uh, inside of power bi you can just go and see some of the settings the point is that still you can only show the information in the form of a point so now we are going to have a look on the other kind of map which is the area map and see that what are the options which are available for the for the area map but but we are going to do that in in another part so that's all for for this video and i'll catch you up in the next one